Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll make a head-to-head -head comparison between Samsung HWQ950A and Sonos Arc. For more information about the products mentioned in this video, please check the links in video description. Before I start, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that bell icon to get notifications when I produce more videos like this. So, let's begin. The HWQ950A is the highest-end soundbar from Samsung. It was released in 2021, and it's the next generation of the Samsung HWQ950T. It boasts an 11.1.4 channel sound system spread across a main unit, wireless subwoofer, and a pair of wireless rear speakers. The HWQ950A adds rear side channels, an auto EQ feature, and AirPlay 2, but also includes eARC. Also, it supports Q Symphony, which uses your Samsung TV speakers to improve your listening experience. If you're looking to turn a living room into a serious home cinema with the minimum of fuss, the HWQ950A is currently as good as it gets. Let's look at HWQ950A, pros and cons. Pros 11.1.4 Channel Speaker Layout Dolby Atmos and DTSX Decoding Dolby Vision and HDR10 Plus Pass-Through Incredibly Immersive Soundstage Excellent Build Quality Amazon Alexa built-in, two HDMI inputs, one HDMI output with eARC, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and Apple AirPlay 2 compatibility. Compact design for such a powerful system. Cons Can't see display when sat down, ridiculous LED placement. SmartThings app can't access full setup menu. Doesn't support Chromecast built-in. No full auto calibration system. Kind of expensive. The Sonos Arc is a 5.0.2 setup released in 2020. It's the high-end model from Sonos, and it can be upgraded as the Sonos Arc with Sub Plus 1 SL speakers for better performance. It supports Dolby Atmos content thanks to its height channels, being the first product to incorporate Dolby Atmos technology. But it lacks some sound customization features like a graphic EQ or presets. Let's look at Sonos Arc Soundbar, Pros and Cons. Pros Dolby Atmos, True HD and Dolby Digital Plus. More drivers than competitors. Can deliver incredible audio content without additional speakers. TV Remote Sync. Moderate ambient sound. Supports Amazon Alexa or Google Assistant. Can easily be expanded with satellites and a subwoofer, surprisingly good bass without a sub. Meshes with existing Sonos systems. Automatically adjusts to content and additional speakers. Fantastic overall performance. Cons. No Bluetooth streaming. A single HDMI input. ARC, eARC rather than HDMI pass-through. No support for DTSX. Sound favors treble at high volumes. Only works with pricey Sonos subwoofer. TruePlay tuning is iOS only. Very large. No remote control included. Next, let's make a product comparison between these two soundbars. So, in my opinion the Samsung HWQ950A is a better soundbar than the standalone Sonos Arc. The Samsung comes with a dedicated subwoofer and satellites, so it reproduces a more extended low bass and has better surrounds performance. It also gets louder with less compression at max volume, 
and it comes with a graphic EQ and a full HDMI in port. However, the Sonos is better built and has a better soundstage performance. Also, you can upgrade it as the Sonos Arc with Sub Plus 1 SL speakers for better performance. In the end it's all up to you which sound bar to buy. Thanks for watching and see you next time.